Hello community, I hope you are doing good. In this discussion, we will see how to add custom logs in Odoo. And in case you missed previous discussion about how to create a log file, please check link is given in the description. If you want to learn more about Odoo, you can visit the Weblens channel. Under the home screen, you can see Odoo 17 and 18 development tutorial. And right now we are working on this playlist. By the way, this is the main playlist. If you are a beginner and want to learn from the beginning, you can visit this playlist. Those are the topic wise sub list available. All right. So let's back to our main topic. And guys, if you didn't subscribe this channel, please subscribe. It will give you the latest update about the upcoming sessions. All right. Question is what is logs, right? So let's say if you are trying to request a particular any actions, right or if you are doing some operations so basically you are trying to request to the server i want to do this then after the backend server will process the data and then after it will give you the response either it's a failure or it's a success in between it will also add some informations into the log for that request response okay so that called as a logs and those logs available in the terminal if you are active your Odoo service in the terminal. If you hosted your Odoo instance in the particular server, that means you already configured one log file, right? Which we already discussed in our last discussion how we can create the log file. So on that, those informations it will automatically store. Okay, so this is the second point. Now those are the logs you can see in this log files. Now let me show you one more way. So you will get the quick idea. So let's say I'm trying to click to this student. What happened is it will redirect me to the student list view, right? And now you can see here, you can see automatically some logs added right here, some informations. You can see here these lines, right? So that this lines is the web action, it's automatically load after it's called the student model, right? And then after the respective data automatically call. So, and then after it's written to the front end. So like this is the logs. Now you can see here, this is the particular one log, right? Here you can see this is the timestamp. This is the process ID. This is the log type basically five types of logs available we will see in this video then after what is the database name then after the which type of log is this right the odoo's log the http's log right then after workzook log the this is the service which is basically handle the request and response then after the ip address right then after again this is the timestamp but here it says which type of method the request it, it was right then after this is the specific call the router call then after what kind of request type right this is basically the http then after what is the response the 200 and then after like what time it took right so those are the logs you can uh, you can see here so i hope you understood about these logs now you can see here this is the info log and this is the warning log right so you can see something like this now you can also add your own logs i think you heard about correct so here you can also add your custom so let me select something like so we can see here this button now what i'm doing is once i click to this button it will automatically add some logs here all right so for that what i'm doing is like i'm going to the students model and here you can see this is our school model and here in this method i'm trying to add custom logs but before that we have to import the logger package so for that i'm using like import logging and here i have to initialize logger so for that i have to create a new variable okay and then after what i will do is like logging dot get logger so this is the method we have to use and here we have to pass as a string parameter right now we can pass as a weblands 
custom logger all right you can also pass anything here then after we have to use this logger right in our custom module so before that let me comment it out all this code and simple i will do here underscore logger dot info okay uh, guys remember i told you like there are five different types of log messages available okay so the first one is the info it's always showing this whatsoever we are passing here the message it will always once this method call right it will add this message into the logs so let's say this is info log okay now let me restart the service now here once i click to this button just observe here okay here ready so let me click to this button now you can see here uh, let's exclude these warnings let's focus here this line right here it says weblands custom logger and inside you can see this is info log right so like this way you can add some logs into the terminal or into the log file now the question is why we need to use this one right so main thing is this one the print statement right so this print statement only prints in the terminal while you active manually this service like this okay let me show you here the demo so you will get the idea once i click you can see this custom method clicked this is the print statement and this is the log statement okay so both having a different thing the first thing is the log so you can see it's automatically display here with the timestamp we don't need to add here the timestamp the uh, and the rest of the informations right and you can see your simple message but once you add a print statement you will only get that specific print statement nothing else so this is the main difference here second difference is whenever you are adding some print statement right and by mistakely this print statement is available in your production or in the staging server this auto service automatically you have uh, the specific service right start restart service so in that case this print statement would be add into the log file okay so only these logs add into the log file so that is the main difference here so let me show you here let's say this is our log file you can see here right let me delete all this let me add here weblands odoo that log okay now all the logs available here now you can see let me stop the service let me restart the service now you can see all the logs you cannot see here but let's say once i click here you can see all the logs available here right let me delete also these logs now i'm going to click to this button now you can see here right now here you can see very carefully this log available here but not the print statement you cannot see this print statement in this log file right so basically if you want to debug some code into the server level right like you have to monitor with the specific log type then you can add the logger with the respective type of logs i will come to here why we used info okay let's understand about difference between log and the print in in this case right i hope you understood about the log files and the print statement now let me also remove this logs because we don't need to use as of now all right so let me go to here 
okay now here you can see here why we used info because we want to add as a info as a login so that's the reason i'm using that info as a log message but what about rest of the four different types of logs right so let's say there is a in, uh, info this is the debug right this is let's say error here you can see critical and the last one is the warning okay let's say here debug error critical and warning so this five different apps of logs available here okay let me restart the service now here once i click to this button now you can see here the info this is info log then after directly it skip the debug you can see here we used here the debug right but it's directly skip this debug and display this this is error log let's not focus about this part let's see this one and rest of this three all right you can see the critical so the error and that error message critical and that specific critical message the last one is the warning right so warning and the warning message now let's say in which situations we can use the logs different logs right so now you already get idea right let's say you want to add some general print statement like this you can add the info then after let's say you want to debug something right in that case you can just use the debug so on the debug mode itself only those debug logs will display or else it won't be display these debug logs then after whenever the error rise so in that case you can add the log logger dot error so that means you will you you can directly see okay here is the error and here you can directly pass here the specific messages so you will get the idea so this is the third one then after the critical right there is some messages you want to pass as a critical on that case you can add here the critical warning messages and you can see like this it's display right and the warning is a yellow you can see so let's say there is some configuration is missing or let's say you want to add some warning messages in your custom module right and you can simply use the warning i hope you understood about five different types of logs now question is why it is not display so the first thing is we didn't active the debug mode here so that's the reason it won't be display here the debug logs all right so let's say log level we have to use debug so now you can see here it says the debug right the color is also changed but right now don't worry might be in your side in your terminal might be there is a chance you will get the different color or very simple the all the messages is display with the white color or the black color based on your terminal configuration it is not necessary what you are looking here it's the same information the same color i mean it will display in your terminal okay it is very different in your side all right here let me show you here the one scenario once i click to this debug this button you cannot see here again that debug log okay to active the debug you have to use here the handler log handler right and then after you have to use colon and debug let me add here the capital all right so it was my fault now once i click and now you can see here you will get the debug log also so info debug error critical and the warning okay so if you want to active all the debug possible logs right 
you can simple use like desk desk log desk handler then after you don't need to pass here after equal to you don't need to pass here any specific lo logs the i mean handler then after you can directly colon and the debug in the capital okay and then after you can see each debug mode will automatically display all possible all debug logs all right so i hope you understood about how you can add custom logs in our next session i will show you log level and the log handler all right so see you in our next session and still if you have any doubt related to this topic please comment below and see you in our next session